Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Liu Chong campaign. This is episode 2. We pick it up from turn 8 in the summer season of 184. So last episode, uh, we just got things started, took out the looters, and now we have the Yellow Turban Rebellion raging in the north. We have some yeah. Yellow Turban spawn uh, in the Intron farmland. I remember in the past that this group was not going to attack the farmland ever. Um, so I'm going to hope that stayed the same in the latest patch and not worry about it and if they do take it we'll take it back uh, it's basically only providing us two food and five prestige at this point uh, not too important we could obviously trade it to Lu Zhi, but i think i'm gonna let uh take the risk here and not do this deal and believe that they will just walk away like before um, we do have um, a couple bonuses active. I'm hoping that Huang Shao will be strong enough to destroy Tiao Mao in this uh, campaign. Uh, it's not always the case, but it happens quite often. Um, in our Liu Bei campaign, he wasn't able to do it. But if he can, I hope he can take over eventually this temple. Because I would like the temple for ourselves. So that's kind of the goal here. We're going to let the Yellow Turbans do the dirty work for us while we uh, finish building up our two commanderies, which is still uh, in a developmental phase. And I'm going to put um, Luo Jun as a administrator a bit later, unless we get a better character for it. Because right now, as Chancellor, he's not doing too much for us, but I still would like him to complete his mission. All we have to do is wait till this uh, finish upgrading. So... We pretty much don't have much to do. We just finished off the looters. I think all the buildings are in order. We can just go to next turn. Because all of them are doing assignments. Yeah, we are using basically every single general that we have. I think Zhou Sh Shen could probably come out if we wanted him to, but I don't think he needs to. I think he's fine sitting there as our administrator. So let's just continue. Okay, Ma Tong declared Wang Hui. Okay, so the situation is still the same as before. Tell Mao died. Uh, his faction is still there. He still has the iron mine. But it seems like Huang Shao found his footing. So hopefully he can wipe them out. And then Zhao Yun can be available maybe for us. Maybe he can take the temple for us. And this is still the same case. He doesn't attack the farmland. He just sails away, which is totally fine. Now we have more rebels here. Um, this one might be threatening to us, and plus we have nothing to do, so we might as well run our way back. Mm. I don't want to be inside, because I want our public order to continue to go down. Because if we garrison anywhere, it will actually help our public order. Um, we're just waiting one more turn for all the assignments, uh, all the buildings. Mm, they're fine as is. The only person that might need changing is we might need to take Zhou Tai out and put him in the army instead. Uh, he's just currently doing a replenishment assignment. Yeah, we just need good characters who might not be spies. Maybe it's too much to ask. But let's just see what they do. Let's continue. Alright, Hui got destroyed. Uh, they were trying to fix this. Hui basically gets destroyed too easily by Yuan Shu. And it isn't a threat. Alright, we got the support from Peasantry bonus. We finished his uh, Chancellor mission. And I think what we should do... Okay, Liang Rebellion is happening. What we should do is um, invoke Council again. Get the mission. And see if we can complete it quickly. Okay, so Confucius Temple, we're not going to build that building. So now I think we can just switch him off. And make him into a administrator. Um, it's going to give us more bonuses than him in this position. It also will drop his salary uh, because right now you, you're paying 150 for him to give us 15% uh, peasantry boost, and we don't have that much peasantry yet. Uh, later on, we're probably going to keep him as our chancellor in the future, but just not right now. So I think we're going to just switch him over. And there's only one commandery left for us to use, so we're going to put him in, in front. So that should do it. I don't think he gets mad when we transfer him like that. Yep. Okay. That's one way you can swap administrators naturally. You can just give them a position and then switch them back the next turn. Um, it's going to be costly at this point, but once you get the Imperial Court, it's a lot easier. Oh, maybe a wife? 18-year-old? Spiteful. Okay. There goes any hope of marrying her. 
I mean, other than that, she's great. She's 18 years. I mean, she's okay. We're 40. We're 40. What? 42. She's 18. Okay. All right. My bad, guys. My bad. Um. We'll let him walk around. It'll just make rebellion happen faster. Unless they have items, then we'll go hunt them down. He has a traitor. It's not that good, and uh, we already have a Tally's Monk, which is pretty decent. All right, large town complete. We really should upgrade this so it's defensively stronger. But we also would like a small city. Two turns. Hmm, maybe this first. Just trying to see how we can efficiently use that. Three turns here. Recall him next turn. Set it up. Uh, I think it's better to do this. And then we'll just cancel it for now. So he doesn't get too much experience. We'll put him in, in Trun for a build. Okay, we could use a couple more building slots actually here. The question is, do we want to keep this commerce income? Probably not. We probably want to do something like this and then demolish it before it completes. But then we probably want to wait for the assignment. Okay, we'll, we'll wait a bit. We'll wait two turns. I'm gonna just stay like right here and see what he does if we ambush. He's coming back, so we can put Jotai out on the field next turn. Is she worth recruiting just as a general though, since she is 18 years old? Hmm. Probably not. Because she could also be a spy. Alright, let's continue. Let's hope for better characters. Alright, modest versus vain. Definitely modest. Uh, Zhang He has vain, which is really bad, but we put up with it because it's Zhang He. Modest is 15% discount. Much better. So, modesty. We didn't get any new characters to drop by. But we did get. We'll give you the fan. Give you the stone pig. Right, we have a horse that we have no one that could use it. Right, we can't reach him. We really need to get... Actually, we could reach him. Right. Maybe we should just wipe him out here. Spear Captain, Lance, Proachers. I mean, I don't mind him being here. He's dropping our uh, public order by 16 because he's over here and there's another army somewhere over here. Rebellion next turn. If we kill him minus 8, it would be 31. Then we actually won't get a rebellion next turn. Which is not what I want, because I actually want the rebellion. Zhou Tai and Zhang He doesn't get along. Wow. Whoa. Tough luck. Yeah, I don't know about this though. Hmm. The issue is he's level 3. Fine. We'll put him out here. We could eventually give him a new army once we get more people recruited. But right now they can just stay here and hunt uh, rebels. Gonna be spawning in both commanders soon. Starting with this one. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna not destroy them but also not let them leave and run around. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack but then like backspace right here 
So we stop movement. We're stuck in each other's circle. They can't run away from us. So we still get the minus 39 here, but we don't have to fight him yet. All right. So we're going to put Taihe over here. He gets along with everyone. That's pretty good. Uh, so that we can start building things here cheaply. Um, we are missing one assignment slot. Technically, I mean, if we're not worried about her being a spy, Wang Rei's faction, 18 year old, mm, she could be a spy, to be honest. But we could we could recruit her and let her do assignments. She's level one. She can boost our peasantry by 50%. It's not terrible. Yeah, it's really not that bad. All right, let's do it. 285, so that's 140 here. So this is going to be more. I mean, what is she going to steal? We're not going to give her any items. And we're going to make sure all our items are equipped. Oh, she could leave with a horse. In that case, we're going to give it to Zhang He. Yeah, if we don't have any unequipped items, she can't larceny. And if we don't give her any items, she can't leave with anything either. So we're fine here. Rebellion next turn. Can't wait. Let's continue. All right, Zhang Yan spawned. Declare war on Ding Yuan. Land of peace. It, it, it is late as you sit with your advisor, Luo Jun. The wise lord chooses the right path when presented with a fork in the road. You stand upon this precipice now. We seek to create a land free from suffering. The people already respect you, but you must choose how to become a legend. For a legend can never be destroyed. Will you lead with the forge or with Kiern? Uh, speak freely and I shall test your resolve. So basically, uh, basically we get a set of missions about doing battles and gaining renown or help the people and become beloved. This is the historical path basically. Uh, we're going to go with this and we're planning to build tall anyways. So now we get missions like construct a building. Which is exactly what we intend to do. All right, we're looking for additional building slots, but first maybe we should upgrade the buildings here, and then we gotta get rid of this to put down um, uh, government support, and then we also want to build administrative office. We could keep it because down the line, if we're going tall build here, once we get to the fifth building, then the inn isn't such a terrible building as the fifth building. You could obviously go. Uh, conscription or even military infrastructure if you're going down the public order route but we're probably not going to go the public order route we're probably just going to go government support land development administrative office tax collection and then probably in building and we might even sell food here and get the synergy between commerce and income and then for our last building maybe marketplace but maybe private workshop even because 190% it's really really good um, okay we got a rebel do we have items we do have items on this rebel cryptographer okay not the worst item in the world uh, but not the best a simple delegate would do guess we get two fights out of this Alright, get a nice chunk of fortitude. We capture the general so we can execute for the cryptographer. Right, that worked out pretty well. Uh, we're just going to finish them off. Might as well. Right, same thing. One point. Yeah, one point. We'll take the one point. Alright, so it seems like the yellow turbans are going after the temple, which is great news. Um, seems like Ludri is on his last breath, and then we might have to start facing off against the Drum Brothers. Uh, they're doing quite well. Han Fu is still alive. Liu Bei is still alive. Liu Yi is pretty much dead. Ding Yuan, Bian Zhang, Lu Zhi. Okay, we're about to become the front line soon. We better get ready for it. Um, let's see. Zhou Ang, let's see. 24 year old. He used to work for Zhou Xin. See, he's much easier to recruit because he's going to be a happy level 1 and we can use him as assignment as well. 
Okay, he also might be a spy. But... Uh, but we're gonna just be careful at the same time and use them as uh, assignment characters because they are quite nice. We don't need to farm anymore with all these assignment characters once we get better ones. And who should it put it on? He has a monk. I guess you get a little bit more cunning this way. And you can take the two points here. We're also going to recall everyone to heal. Taiho leveled up. So he's eventually going to be... Nothing. He's bad on the battlefield, he's also bad on as an administrator. We're going to just give him range stats in case we ever need him on the field. Most likely not. It'd be better if he's never on the field. I think he deserves a promotion. That pretty much solves the whole issue, because he's currently officer. It's really only 400 up front plus 25 extra a turn. Yeah. Might as well keep him happy, and then if we can get the temple, it'll be really good. Alright, reform selection. Obviously, tax selection would be a great way to continue. We can also start developing these, but we haven't really upgraded the livestock farm up to level 3 yet, so we can wait. Trade route, probably not so relevant, because we're running out of trade partners. We don't have any ports, and uh, I don't want to trade with Yuan Shu, so we're going this way. So I think we can finish them off now and then start moving over here and also start recruiting an uh, actual army. What we want to do is to... Oh, we're only making 900 right now. Basically this guy is eating too much income. Like his cost, I can recruit two more crossbowmen. Which is probably better. But what I need is two more tribuches here. And then for Liu Chong, probably, probably archers. He doesn't actually boost. I mean, we boost crossbow damage, but it's not that high. Alright, I think we should say goodbye to this unit. Um... I think we should just go crossbow. Ten percent, twenty-seven percent. Twenty-seven percent is a decent boost because he's only boosting forty percent at hundred. Hmm. Let's keep him for now. I still haven't made up my mind. We need to get our economy up and running. It's too weak right now. We need a lot of scaling. Alright, anyways. Can't lament it too much. Let's finish them off. Alright, they escaped, which means we can wipe it out after one fight. Um, I'm tempted to just delegate here because they uh, retreated once so we don't actually have to fight it to kill everyone and then we can spend the turn replenishing as we walk to the uh, other east our east front so I think we're gonna just do this okay. and then that unit disappears. Uh, we'll just get money. Money. Alright. We want to go here. For the chance to take the temple. Four turns. Okay, so the question here is, if we're going to walk four turns, right, like... It's going to take us four turns. So... For units like the crossbow, that if we look at the cost structure here, uh, 
So if we can recruit a crossbow unit, which is kind of weird because Liu Chong is a commander and commanders can't recruit crossbow units, but Liu Chong can. Four turns kind of break even point. So I can technically get rid of these units and then like recruit them there. And it will cost me the same. I'll basically save the cost. But then I have to wait for mustering. Hmm. Right, Z Militias only cost 3 turns, so these guys I think we get rid of right away. It's not worth it to hold them for this many turns. These guys have levels on them, so we're not going to do much to them. The question is whether we want to keep Chen Peacekeeper at all. We're keeping him for sure. Um, I think we just get rid of him for now. Let our economy bounce back for this couple turns while we travel. Oh, we got a banner. Defeat a yellow turban force while commanding an army. Tim Rao for sword and shield infantry. We don't have any, but we might as well put it on. It doesn't really hurt us. Huang Tian? The Tian is ridden a little weird. I guess it's just the angle. Alright, we're going to get a rebel here. We can clear that out as we go over. And then we're going to raise a force here of our three generals next turn. Right, still the same turn that we recalled them. Alright, that's pretty much it. We can't do much. Okay, Zhang Yan's getting attacked by yellow turbans. They should really fix this. They should start out with, like, good relationships. Um, we got ourselves a rebel spawn. No items. We're just going to wipe that out. Uh, Tao Tian doesn't seem like to be giving us a chance to take the temple away from him, so we're going to just not go there. I'll just save some time here. Oh, we got two fights out of this. Lost zero on a delegate fight? That's a first. That's really a first. Uh, well... We can only release. Alright, Sun Tian leveled up. Um, is he going to ever be an administrator? Nope. So we're going to go this way. Obviously, Reach would be great. Um, having a strategist as a commanding general for you know crossbow units are probably the best. We get 10% firing rate. We get armor piercing damage from precision. We get Reach. That's good enough, pretty much, for what you want for uh, your commanding general. Yeah. Increased damage during siege, that's not that important. Um, let's hunt this down one more time. I wonder if still be zero. Wow. Really high delegate value on these crossbow units. Impressed. Alright, now I'm not so sure where we should go. Because we're definitely not going to get opportunity here. I'm not interested in fighting this war. I hope they can hold on. If Lu Zhi dies, then Huang Fu Song might join the pool and then we might be able to recruit him. Alright, that's an excellent item. Three expert and then I guess you can wear it for now just temporarily all right now you can boost the income here as well so we're gonna boost peasantry at both places uh, this is gonna take one more turn yeah we're gonna let it just run its course no need to rush it and then they can take care of this rebel group here or we can let the three officers do it hmm well, regardless, they should they should come out, or else they're gonna get idle points, and then we'll see whether they want to fight this or not. Let's just continue here. All right. So here's our oh farmer. Okay, not such a great item, but we can go get it. So here we have a chance to get this because Tao Tian left. So if we just have our army kind of hover here and just stay hidden let them take it and then we can take it back against whatever is left then we can take the temple 
that would be great. Uh, so this fight here, to get the item, it's not critical, it's not like must for us to get this item, but it does help. The question is whether I want to fight this to make sure we keep her alive or we run the chance of killing her, the delegate. I think we should just delegate and hope for the best. Wow, so clean. Did we get the item? Feels like the item's coming. Ah, we got the person. Alright, execute for the item. And we got a rare talent. And there's a person in the pool. Oh, Xun Yu. Now he's someone we can keep, assuming that he didn't. He isn't a spy. I mean, even if he's a spy, I'll run the risk. I'm running the risk on the other officers, anyways. Wonder. Why can't you be a farmer? Alright. Um. So these two, all right, this is the rare talent that we got. Handsome, populist, so he's good at keeping himself happy, but I don't think we need him. He's also super expensive. So I'm going to say goodbye to him. We can technically thin out our roster a little bit. Yeah, we're, we're recruiting him. Uh, we can't finish them off. Alright, Rebel over here soon too. Uh, okay. Let me think, let me think. I like him a lot. In terms of being a general in the future. So we're gonna recruit him out here. Wow, how are we going to recruit you? That's very pricey. Okay. We're just not going to recruit him. Um, we'll get rid of these. We're going to pull him back to heal and also make him join that army next turn. There's a logic to this madness. Um, we're going to get rid of this for now. We're going to not upgrade this all the way yet. So the end building is not going to come into play until later. So we're going to get rid of it for now. Farmer, administrator here, take it. Give us a little boost of food production. All right, we're just going to hope we can get the temple. Then a lot of the satisfaction issue will be taken care of naturally. All right, let's continue. Alright, we finished building a building, so we got our first mission, 500 gold. Second mission, get a trade agreement, which is already done. Uh, Tao Tian's super annoying. He marched right back and they just left. Uh, this is a new rebel, no items. Where did those rebels go? They went hidden? Well, what we're going to do is we're just going to rally back here. Yeah, these crossbows delegate value is just off the charts right now. Yeah, zero. Have not had this much luck with delegate. Alright, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna recruit Luo Jun here. And then they can chase out and get some experience here too. Oh, Luo Jun leveled up. Well, first we're gonna delegate this fight. Alright, let's see. He is administrator. He needs to get over here. Now the question is, does missing out on some of these skills hurt us? Because if we go down here, getting these administrative skills, we're going to be missing out on other ones. I don't know if it actually hurt us, because we can get reach faster. Like, these aren't that useful. These two are not that useful. Okay, so I think we'll go just go down this way. 
Uh, we're gonna split. We have four army slots, right? We have five army slots, yeah. Uh, let's see. He's hiding behind. March. We'll find you some friends. Um, seems like we don't have a chance here. So we're gonna move one of them away. I'm actually gonna move Zhang He away. I'm gonna make Zhang He join him. I like him, and I like Zhang He, so they can work together. And these two can hang out over here. Well, we're getting rebellions quickly in all these places, so they're gonna work for us. Let's get that building done. Let's get that building done. Same build. Just going tall build in both of these uh, commanderies. We're trying to push our. Uh, fervor to 100 so we're start so we can start spilling over into our neighbors and because you know we're we're technically helping the yellow turbans uh spread their rebellion um they're doing actually they're doing oh uh, they're not doing so hot now yeah they're not doing so hot Luger has re uh retaken the farmland here and Benjong's encroaching in Liu Bei has also taken territory here Yoyu is losing. Yeah, my intention is I hope that they can, the Yellow Turbans can actually win in the north. And then we can create some issues over here. Basically giving us an opportunity to take over eventually. Um, we got a weapon. Nice. Here, your reward. Let's just continue. Uh, just got to check for assignments real quick. Two turns in Yintron. Yes, we're good. Alright, Benjong died himself. Interesting. We got our gold. Assign character to administrator post, which we already finished. We're going to just get a thousand gold next turn. We have our first issue. Uh, Huang Shao is coming for us. So we might have to give the farmland away to Lu Zhi. Which isn't a big deal. Yeah, we're just going to give him the farmland. And we're going to ask him to give us some stuff back. Anything? Uh, it's probably just money then. Misclicked. Misclicked again. There we go. Uh, he's not that rich. But we'll try to get as much as we can from him. Alright, let's do that. And over here, probably maybe close to a thousand is my guess. Let's see if that's right. More than a thousand. Okay. Right here. It's not too bad. He can take the farmland and then we don't have to lose the territory for nothing. Give him some food. And now we can have some time to prepare for him. Alright. I like how it's always two fights. Alright, easy. Alright, now we have to start actually planning for them. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Oh, he's really low health. Uh, that delegate kind of hurt now. So let's meet up over here. Tough. Yeah, see, he's another better character to recruit than the ones we have, but he's 50. That's something against him. I think we have one extra here.
Maybe she can go. Why didn't you go attack the temple? Alright. So what we need is trebuchets. We're going to reduce the cost of the trebuchets by a little bit by doing that. Um, I'm going to trust that he's not a spy. Alright, the bow... I just want to put it on someone first. Actually, he needs this for happiness. Uh, Zhang He can take a bow, I guess. Alright, that's good. Let's pop them in. And then we want definitely two spear guards. How many cavalry are we talking about? Two cavalry. We might not need spear guards, actually. Uh, let's still let's still get two. And the question is maybe we can just recruit them instead of spear guards. Cause we have pretty decent cunning as well. And we have burn trait. Alright, let's do two of these. And then we're basically pretty poor at this point. Let's pop out another one here. And then... I think I'm gonna spam... Four archers. And that's pretty much the extent of our economy. And then we'll have how many range units? Six, ten, twelve. Not enough for the quest. We need... 15, I believe. 15 crossbow units. Okay, so not just... Okay, so what we can do, actually... So far we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so we have 8. We need 7 more crossbow units. 7 more. Ooh, that's a lot. Because um, I can pump out 4 here, and then we can't get 3 on him because... It'll cost us, what, 42? 43k, 4.3k, plus 1.6k, 6 point... Ah, uh, we have enough money for that. We have enough money for that. So we're going to do 3 here. I know our economy is going negative, but it's going to bounce back, trust me. And 4 here. Right, so this is 15 units of crossbowmen. Because the reason why our economy bounced back is because we're going to get the 15% discount from the from the trophy. And then all these units will be much cheaper. Uh, the downside is we can't really spend the money on anything else. I guess we can build this. We can build free buildings. And then we can pop him off and use um, him somewhere else. Right, nothing can stop our free buildings. Alright, so we're fine. Uh, Re Rebel is going to happen here and also here. We're going to have them take care of both groups. Kind of together. They'll just tag team. Four generals should be fine. Uh, he's going to be decent in the future. Well, since he's an administrator, we might as well go for these administrative traits, even though we don't have any industry or commerce right now. Yeah, let's still go down this way. More expertise. Alrighty, I think that's as best as I can do to prepare for this fight. Uh, we can get them better weapons. Zhou Tai using an axe doesn't make a lot of sense historically. Well, Zhang He 
Jonko's weapon's probably also a, a spear, but it's fine. Alright, I think that's the best we can do. Mustering wise, I don't think we can rush it. Alright, let's go. Next turn. Alright, Begum Boyu. Alright, we got our quest. We got two quests. 15 range units and 15 crossbow units. Plus 10 morale for range units and plus minus 15 upkeep. So both of these are going to help us. Let's see how the upkeep is going to do here. Alright, minus 266. So still a little bit high. Uh, but that's understandable. It's a little bit better. Um, we probably shouldn't move. Ooh. Oh, that's good. That's decent as well. Both of these are great items. Um... So I think what we want to do is just be within range. And then fight them. I don't think... I don't want to risk losing the item. kind of want to just fight this. I'll fight it and cut it out. Um, or we can just delegate and pray. 10% income. Eh, it's just the bronze item. It's not the silver one. The silver one will be careful. This one will just hope. Live on prayer. Did we get him? We got the item. Alright, and we captured him. Well, if we got the item ready, we can just release. Level up. Zhanghe leveled up. Good boy. Like the wind, Zhou Tai picked up some experience. Alright, we finally got reach. We need to probably chase them down a little bit. Alright, delegate. Alright, we're out of supplies. But we're gonna just heal by recalling, so it doesn't really matter. Same thing here. Actually, Jotai can probably stay on the field, that way we still have movement. We're gonna move him here. Because we're gonna get a rebellion next turn too. Fervor is just driving it crazy. Rebellion every turn. Alright, we need this item. This is a really good item. So we're gonna mess up our mustering a little bit here. Lose 10%. Hmm. I'm gonna put him here for now. I'm I'm slightly unsure whether I should move away and lose the mustering. It could hurt us in the long run when they strike us down. Hmm. We could wait a turn. It doesn't matter if they double in size and get another general because we can definitely beat them. Because we wait, every turn we wait is what, 28%? No, 18%. We only have 8%. Wow, that's really low. Can we actually get more military supplies? Plus 10 supplies. I wonder if this will mess up our mustering. I hope not. Let's try it. Okay, it didn't mess up our mustering. This way we get our military supply up faster. That way we don't have this minus 4% uh, replenishment rate on it.
I might as well go to the city and get more supplies because we're not we're not gonna impact this uh this high fervor situation anyways we could potentially try a trade route see if we can improve our economy this way yes we can oh nephew my lord, my king. Uh, he has a lot of cash. But he's only willing to give us... I mean, that's so little. He needs food. Right, right. He needs food. Even one food is worth a, a lot to him. How much can I get out of you? Wow, really not much. Yeah, really not much. Hmm. Wow, stingy. It's gonna be like five fifty ish. Okay, we'll take 560. 565. All right, perfect. Alright, we're barely above zero in terms of our economy. Uh, we'll fix it later. We could be selling military access to everyone, but I don't think we need to. Yeah, we'll take care of them soon, just not now. We're going to give the farm manager to him because 10% income is a lot better than 20% more food. But we're not going to waste that guy either. Um, we recruited an army, so now we can probably switch this back with Zhang He. And then Zhang He can take that item back. Alright, we're good. Yeah, I'm okay with where we are. Let's continue uh, after we level these people up. So I kind of want to switch one of them out for the future. One of them should leave us. Probably her, just because it's spiteful. Yeah, but she's so young. Oh, he's so expensive. He's leaving us. Alright, we're gonna give her good abilities and then we're gonna fire him. We're gonna fire him right away. So, firing him gives us more economy, obviously, but also it will clear out his spot right away so we can assign our other guy in here right away too. Perfect. We don't have to wait a turn for him to come back. Alright, that's the situation right now. We're good to go. Let's continue. Okay guys, um, so remember how the Emperor had two army stacks? They had another army of um, generals that came over here and then Huang Shao wiped that army out that was insane. He wiped out... I mean, it wasn't the Imperial Army, which is kind of battered already, but he wiped the whole army out. That's kind of insane. Um, oh. Oh. I think we found ourselves another administrator. Yeah, I think we found ourselves another administrator. Where did he work for? Liu Hong's faction. I mean, our nephew's dumping a lot of people. He's just a little old. That's the only thing against him. He's also not terrible. Okay. 
All right, they doubled in size. All right, another item. Another item. Wow. So, uh, we officially lost mustering. So no point to stand here then. I kind of want to go after them. I think this is our chance to actually destroy Huang Shao. We can reclaim the farmland and then take don't. Doesn't actually benefit us. He's on march, so he's not replenishing. So them first, and then we'll go back to them. Alright, we're definitely fighting this on the field, because we gotta control casualties. We gotta kill the generals. We gotta not kill the generals. We really want her item. And uh, so let's go here. Let's jump into battle. Alright, we're loaded up in here. Uh, not gonna be a super exciting battle, because um, I think they're gonna rush out of the encampment. Uh, but we do have a lot of crossbow units, so it should be fun to watch. Um, one thing I did notice on um, extreme unit size, which we are on compared to the base game, is that you still only have four tribuchets per unit. So, in a sense, tribuchets are less damaging because you get more people manned on them, but you don't actually gain more tribuchets, you know, if you know what I mean. So you, there's more enemy units, but you only have the same number of tribuchet per unit. Uh, I don't even know how we should actually structure our units. It's like the luxury of knowing you have the best units. So these guys definitely in the front. Because once they get up close, it's their job to um, absorb the initial shock. There's no cavalry that I'm worried about, so we're just going to do that. And then for the basic crossbow units, we're just going to have them behind. Uh, still doing the same damage. Remember, they have the same bow, so they're the same damage. We don't have fire flaming shot on them, but it's fine. We'll have him in the front with his crossbow, just sniping at enemy basic units. And then he'll be by his side. We'll just have him on the side. No dueling, because we don't want to kill their generals. Let's start. Oh man. Well, even though you only have the same number of tribuchets, I guess the units are more clumped. Density-wise, it should be similar, but still, if they spread it out... Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. But if they spread it out, you actually do less damage with tribuchets on extreme unit size and then large, in my opinion, as a percentage. Like the raw number is going to be higher, but the percentage is going to be lower. Alright, time to move our manual aiming up. Oh, this will be so fun. I'm going to leave these guys on auto fire, not manual, just because I want to watch this. This is how we have zero casualty. I hope none of them have unbreakable. Yeah, okay, we're good. Take a shower. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is mean. Alright, we're gonna make sure he doesn't do too much damage to our front line. But also make sure we don't kill him either. This is brutal. Alright, he's, he's thinking about routing. Let him route. Go smack her a couple times. Actually, we can just use our bow to smack her a couple times. Alright, don't kill him. 
Oh wow, they just... Look at that, buried. Alright, don't don't finish her off. Shoot her, shoot him a couple of times. Get him to route. Alright, stop, 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 stop. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Route. Leave. Alright, stop. You with the weaker bow. Give him a shot. Okay, alright. That should be good, right? We routed everyone? No? What? Alright, alright, stop shooting. Let the generals leave. That was brutal. Alright, let's just get these guys done. Come on, route. How do you have 30 points? Currently losing damage sustained. Defending a victory point. Yeah, they're under the tower. That's pretty much it. Accuracy, boys. Accuracy. You're level 1, but you gotta do better than this. Alright, this is why we manually aim. Do we have to actually run up? We might actually have to run up. But they're not routing anymore. Ah, but they're charging again. Good. Alright, we'll hit stop when we need to. So we don't kill the generals. Alright, stop. There we go. Hope we get the item. And we still have so much ammo left. Perfect. Alrighty, let's hope we get those items, and then we can turn ourselves on Huang Shao. Alright, execute for item. The guy's still alive. We got the one that we really wanted. I'm actually going to take replenishment here, because we need to get ourselves ready for the other fight. Uh, uh, this is not important. We don't actually worry about that one. Uh, this, we're just going to recruit a couple of strong generals. And they can go fight this group. Just delegate this fight. Wow, brilliant officer. Yellow turban, though. Alright, we're gonna go back to the city. Actually, they can beat this. Yeah, yeah, they can definitely beat this, even at their current health. Oh, and they get reinforcement. Okay, so that was no worries there. We'll take the item. Uh, I don't think it's actually going to heal this group, so just money. Because they're just going home. And to make sure that they have movement, what we're going to do is we're just going to recruit Zhang He. They're just going to cycle. Because right now, our fervor is going off the charts. So it's rebelling every turn. Um, replenishment plus 5%. Also, flexibility gives us the bonus for redeployment. Since we don't have mustering, we can move all the way over here. Kind of let Zhang Jiao know what... Uh, Huang Shao know what's up. Uh, do we have any good characters? Yeah, we do have one. Um... We can't wait a turn on him. Oh, uh, we also got Wicker Bell. Rank up range unit 15 times. Okay, seems like everyone ranked up. So now we can get rid of uh, Sword and Shield Morale, which doesn't do anything, and give ourselves plus 10% range block chance on all our units, all our range units. Uh, this one doesn't do anything for us anymore. Let's see which one we should aim for. We should aim for having five tribuchets, I think is definitely one. Yeah, for double ammo. We can kind of cheese this one out just by recruiting, you know, three more and then get rid of them afterward uh, but that's probably not urgent we don't have the money to do that right now 
Yeah, this army is impressive. They're not even at full strength. They're at half strength, and that was really quite a show. Okay, I think we're just going to end our turn. I'm still debating about this guy, because we can't use him right now. We have... We have everyone on duty. I'm happy having Luo Jun and uh, Zhou Shen right now. So, there's really no point. Yeah, assignments, four people farming rebels, one actual army. Our economy still needs to grow by a lot. Ooh, we got Defiant. That's good, okay. Alright, let's just continue. Alright, Distinguish versus Direct. Um, Direct's not that good. Charge with like is so-so. Distinguish is also not that good. Um, if I had to pick between these two... Mm, I probably want Direct. Because the stat boost is better. Resolve and Instinct versus Authority and Instinct. And also the Charge with like is better than Independence. So I'm going to go with Direct here. All right, we're going to call this to the end of our episode. He Jin moved his army out again, got them more beat up by taking out the army here. Now they're really weak, so we can easily hunt them down, take back Inchuan, and Huang Shao will be dead because Huang Shao actually lost his home to Tao Tian uh, during this time period. So we have an opening here. Uh, we're going to continue our strategy of uh, creating fervor, which we are doing quite well because we are basically a max fervor in all our commanderies. And it's going to spill over. Um, they're fighting it pretty hard with their building. But eventually we'll have an opening somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Maybe even the capital area. Well, they're really doing a well job. They're building like all the right buildings to take care of the situation. Hmm. Well, I guess right now we're just creating the situation for ourselves. Uh, we're going to balance things out once we go tall. Once we get the money, we're going to continue to build tall. We're going to punch out the administrative office building, which will counteract a lot of the fervor from the tax collection. So that's the plan going forward. We might even build a temple. We'll see. Uh, a lot of things are flexible. Uh, we're going to continue our campaign uh, in the next episode by destroying Huangshao and reclaiming our farmland. So see you all then. Bye!